If you remember Honga Tonga volcano, you remember that there was an underwater volcano erupted in the Pacific Ocean, created one of the biggest eruptions ever. Now we have another one, that is East Epi in the Vanuatu uh, Islands of the uh, western part of the Pacific. Uh, this is sorted like this with a patch of the different color of uh, material. Then early hour in the morning we saw this, people were pointing at it. This is the, near the Epi Island and the actual volcano is 34 meters under the water, the summit of it is a so practically is a stratovolcano underwater and then this uh, developed into a big ash cloud evaporating water creating shards everywhere very similar to what we saw in the Kawachi island where we saw the bubbling of the water dirty water coming out almost the color of the coffee that's the reason it's called Kawachi in Persian means uh, coffee maker and then we saw the volcano creating landmass and gradually adding to it, you could see the actual lava, glass shards rising from the sea level. This is where the Indo-Pacific uh, plate undergoing subduction under New Hebrides parts of the Pacific uh, Ocean plate, oceanic plate, we should say, and uh, creating a subduction, and the subduction creates these stratovolcanoes, 200 to 250, depending on the angle of the uh, subduction, 400 even sometimes, away from the trench that forms at the subduction point, created, uh, these kind of volcanoes are created. This one is underwater. Who knows? Maybe we are seeing the f a future island and a future continent forming here. That's where the islands started. That's where the continents started in the early history of, the, uh, of our planet. East Epi is one of those little, little volcanoes at the moment that may become a big, big volcano in the future. And who knows, in the future we may have something like a Hongo Tongo, even bigger. These volcanoes are very dangerous because they're underwater.